the cross. Now let's go on the fair foul right now. Should the Steelers consider trading for trading Mason Rudolph at this point? Like I mentioned, uh, Bleacher Reports, Brad Daniel on the uh, feels the Steelers need to give Dwayne Haskins a clear shot at being the team successor once Ben Rosberg is ready to hang it up. Uh, listen, I, Dwayne Haskins right now, I mean, he's got a lot of great support. You almost tend to think, I mean, despite base row of signing one-year extension, it doesn't feel like it's too much uh, support. I mean, for him, I mean, obviously he's got enough, I mean, for one more year, they want to keep him around and see what happens. But the question is, too, how do we know if Ben Rosberger is, is definitely going to retire after this year? I mean, he's going to be turning 40 next year. But, I mean, if you look at, I mean, what they could do, I mean, creatively, him and Matt Canna, Adrian Clem working together in this offense, can they be able to restore a little bit of a spark right now? Even if they come short in the championship. I mean, I, mean, I can see Ben Rosberger playing one more year at 40, but I don't know if I want to keep pushing it at this point. But I mean, at the same time, too, listen, I mean, if, if you still got a clear, legitimate answer in what you have in Mason Ruff and Dwayne Haskins, why go necessarily? There's many who've been making the argument he's going to be holding this franchise back for a few years by playing the round that he's playing. I'm not so sure. I think, if anything, Listen, this is a team who wants to continue to win, still sees themselves as big-time uh, players in championships, cannot take that away from him. So I, I would definitely listen. Work at Mason Rudolph, go that he could probably be an interesting piece. Right now, I mean, who would you, I mean, train with? I mean, I wouldn't mind if he goes in the AFC. I mean, I don't think he's that much of a threat where he could go for some go in our team and be starting quarterback material just yet. But I mean, I would look at teams maybe like the Chicago Bears probably be one. I mean, I, I know you I realize they got Nick Foles, but I mean him and his relationship with the Bears, it's kind of like a little a funky situation at the same time. I'm not so sure how long that's going to continue to last. Would he do well serving somewhere as a backup to a guy like Kirk Cousins and the Vikings? Our situation right there. Or the Lions. I mean, other teams you could also probably look at, too, maybe the Cowboys. I mean, Dak Prescott, he's got... He's got his money, but still, I mean, just somewhere where he could just like uh, just be a nice fill in piece, still be able to help someone out when needed. Maybe the Washington football team. I would definitely like the Washington football team for Mason Rudolph. Now that they're going to be without Alex Smith, I mean, Alex Smith, I mean, he was done since uh, like he uh, had his leg broken. And for what the pain he's had to play through and how they worked together. Uh, running the ball and offensive line protection. I could see him being a good fit with Ron Rivera and his staff. So let's wait and see. I'm not sure how much the value high is going to be on him. Maybe a few late round picks. I'd like to hear from you on that. And uh, that's all. So, I mean, uh, for right now, I'm going to say fair. I will not necessarily say follow this, only because when you're getting your roster together, I mean, they have four quarterbacks on this depth chart. Remember, with Mason, I mean, outside Ben Rosberg, Mason Rudolph, but of course, you got Dwayne Haskins and Joshua Dobbs. Maybe Joshua Dobbs would just be the odd man out once again. Because I don't see any, I mean, why is he sticking around even? Because uh, if they are the trade, uh, Mason Ruff, because remember, Mason Ruff, he signed a one-year extension for $6 million 
$2.08 million guarantee via sign bonus. Should they trade Mason Rudolph, they'll be saving $920,000 uh, with a $1.273066 million cap hit and dead money. And last but not least, will the Steelers, according to John Clayton, uh, give some sort of penalty for not reporting David Castro? Absolutely. I think it's going to be a fine. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough or it's going to warrant costing them a draft pick, uh, but that's about it. So that's going to do it for this edition here of the Mass Joe Podcast. So, of course, yours truly, Charles Prads Richie. Once again, you guys can follow me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, uh, Twitter at Mass Joe CJR, and on Instagram at Mass Joe Nation. So I'll leave it. They'll be trolling, be rolling. I don't know.